Hey, so <clears throat> been uh, uh, interested, I guess, in uh, calculators and looking up information on. Uh, well, initially it was uh, reverse Polish notation as uh, an excursion into fourth, um, and I found it re really interesting. And then I found out there's calculators that use reverse Polish notation. And then that started me on a, a little bit of a rabbit hole as to the best engineering calculators or uh, useful calculators. And it got into um, different scientific calculators and stuff that, you know, it's actually kind of, well, the parallels are kind of interesting. Uh, a lot of engineers still like the older style of calculator because it puts all the buttons immediately on the on the interface, even if you have to do, you know, even if each button has multiple functions, press the blue button to activate the blue function and the yellow button. Um, but all the new calculators have larger displays, so they display all the, uh, more of the values, more of the history, and they can handle more menus. So you wind up, instead of accessing a function real quick, by pressing, you know, the yellow button and then pressing the button with the yellow writing for the function you want. <clears throat> you wind up doing, um, uh, you, you wind up opening a menu and then navigating down, 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 functions, down, 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 next page, next page, you know, flipping through menus in order to find the thing that you want. You might have the opportunity to set up shortcuts, but it's, it's one of those uh, improvements just to improvements that are not really necessary uh, and the guys that like to get stuff done quick still wind up with these old calculators getting these old calculators so there's still a number of uh, they're still expensive on eBay um, but there are some more modern recreations and uh, so I started kind of learning about it how to interface with it what it would be useful how to integrate it into uh, my workflow or whatever parts of my workflow it would actually apply to uh, I just, I mean, frankly, I just found it interesting. Um, I, I, I'm not sure why. It might have been about the, the user interface. So uh, all along the way, I'm doing this and uh, learning about these calculators, and it's like, okay, I have to memorize how to, how to press the button to get to this section, to that section, you know, what does this button mean and do, uh, and how does that button change if the state of the calculator changes. And uh, what's interesting is that the, the calculator itself, the, it's a HP 42S, uh, is so popular that people have created uh, simulators for it or emulators for it and for uh, all operating systems, <laughs> including Android and iPhone and all that. And um, people still use it and love it and find it, uh, you know, they, they, they spent time recreating it because it works so well and that's something that you pay attention to because uh, all along the way I'm like do I need to get one of these calculators is this is this a good uh, investment is this a good uh, use of of money of funds and you know the initial answer is no absolutely not why would it why would I get a calculator when I've got you know um, it's still kind of the argument but the phone has a uh, it's called free 42 uh, it's an application free application of reproduction of the HP 42 with uh, you know a few little bonus features why wouldn't you just use that well the phone is the phone the phone does the phone things <laughs> the phone is asked to do other things uh, it needs to be a, a cell phone obviously uh, it needs to have all kinds of other apps it has other requirements of it it will be called upon uh, to do lots of other things, it will run out of batteries. My my battery is actually dying, so fewer uh, fewer flags. Of course, I need to get a new one. All of these things uh, are in favor of not getting a calculator, but it's still just very strange and interesting to me that these people are still uh, not really stuck on it, but like actively using it for for quick work and being able to generate, to save their own programs with relative ease. See, that's the thing, it's like, any computer, including this, this phone, 
is many times more pow powerful than that calculator. So why do people keep going back to the calculator? And um, <clears throat> when I started thinking about what I wanted to do with the calculator, I started thinking about why it would be useful to actually have one. Uh, why have a separate device that is one? And right now the phone is still, it's still good and it's still what I'm using, um, I'm, what I'm learning on. But being able to have your have your little programs, have your your calculation programs uh, in your pocket and on a or on a separate screen on your desk while you're you're working on stuff. I've had multiple instances of needing to just open a notepad to copy some data into and then do some functions on it, change, change the data around and then hold it there while I update the screen here and then copy it back over, which is just stupid redundant work. Uh, but in this case, the application doesn't let you open two of those same windows for different things, and then I, I would just copy between the two. So I have to, like, get a sheet of paper, essentially, <laughs> and jot down those numbers. So if I had those numbers, and I'm trying to record or save those numbers, dropping them into a calculator function, <clears throat> and then, or drop, typing them into a calculator, hitting enter, typing the second number in, and then running a function against that, can calculate the next position for, you know, a switch position. And then I can open up the next one and type it in directly off the calculator screen. You know, I've got a separate screen, a separate device. Um, I've been I've been interested in uh, I don't I don't know what what it quite is. There's some kind of mental difference in having a separate device. Like uh, I've had even even for something as simple as listening to music, I do uh, graphics work on my computer, and the computer's uh, at work. It's 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 pretty old. I still manage it properly so that it uh, it's usable. It's not, you know, it's not frustrating. But if I get too much stuff open, it will slow down. It will experience some serious slowdowns. And while that's happening, I can't even listen to music. Like the music starts to cut out. <clears throat> so having even just a separate device. In this case, I have you know multiple computers around. One of them is a Raspberry Pi. Plugging my headphones into that, using the Raspberry Pi as a as a display device for showing, you know, a constant sh sh stream of my email and uh, any updates to the machine, it's like, okay, well, this is just for monitoring stuff. Well, now I can pop a, put music on it, plug my headphones into that, and my music is on a separate device running. Well, now my numbers and my calculations are on a separate device, and that separate device has uh, a ticker tape of history of uh, all the calculations I've done so I can go back and find something that I need to find. Uh, it also has, the calculator itself has uh, registers for storing variables <coughs> or storing numbers so you can recall those numbers uh, however long afterwards. So it is very interesting. Um, but what was particularly, so this is, this is the thing, this is the tricky part. Uh, if you, there's nothing that the calculator can do that I cannot do in uh, probably in, in fourth in a very literate, uh, convenient way. Certainly, I can do all those things in a Python interpreter. That's kind of what it was designed for. But there's still a lot of syntax, and they're still opening it up. And if I want to run a Python interpreter, uh, unless I've got like uh, a heavy instance of Circuit Python running on a handheld device, I've got a lot more overhead for what's what needs to be displayed, what needs to be produced. You know, I need to run, <clears throat> essentially I'm running an entire car in order to turn on the radio. Uh, a Walkman would do that just fine and be easier to carry around and require less energy <laughs> and, and, and. So many things. So the idea of this, this calculator as a separate device, but um, like as a, um, al almost as a unitasker, you know, something that doesn't have uh, Distractions of other things doesn't have the uh, the overhead the baggage of other things you know, I've made a number of handhelds and at It's taxing I'm just kind of realizing that When I have a device that's in danger of running out of battery and not being available when I need it available, uh, this device is one of them, it is 
ta oh, you know, I don't really care about this device actually. I let I let the phone run out of batteries pretty often. It's a little annoying. I don't like my phone though. That's the thing. Like I don't worry about it. Uh, I leave it at home often. I just don't really care about it. But Vexus, you know, I don't want Vexus to die. And wherever I am, I have to have in the back of my head, a, you know, a little clock ticking over. Is Vexus okay? Do I need to charge Vexus? Where's Vexus? <clears throat> Is Vexus plugged in right now? The same thing with any of the handhelds that I had, including the pocket chip, you know, that still has a limited life to the point that I actually have to think about it and what, what it needs, what its needs are at the time. The calculator will run for, you know, a year <laughs> off the coin cell batteries that it has. And at any point you whip it out, press the button, and hey presto, you're, you're, you're running your, uh, your programs on it. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Um, but the, what is interesting particular to, particularly to me is the user interface. Uh, the user interface of a calculator is fast and intuitive, and the buttons that are the most useful are mechanical buttons uh, on layer one, and then you've got layer two and layer three on the blue and the, the yellow layer. This, in, that, that's talking about the HP 35S. Um, not the 42. <clears throat> the 42 actually does have some menuing. Um, but you can kind of modify that. But just the, the... It's an optimized interface. And the alternative to that is, well, I can just write a program in Python for this. You know, I can write a program for fourth in this. And that's great, but where's your fourth device? Um... And this would be, you know, if you had something that could uh, could wake and run stuff like that, like there's a, um, what's it called, Solder Party Featherwing something? It's like the Featherwing handheld thing. I'll link it in the description. It's pretty cool. They actually have some in stock at this point. Um, but running something like that with, uh, you know, something high, a high-end feather wing processor with like a SAM something fancy arm core fancy processor uh, that can run a heavy instance of circuit Python although I'm not even positive circuit Python instances are heavy uh, you know just just get some get some libraries in there <laughs> get some imports in there <clears throat> you'd be able to do all that but you wouldn't be able to do whatever you want you have to do it, you still have to do it in the Python syntax. You can make functions and stuff like that, and that would be great, but there's a, there's a lot of immediacy in a dedicated device. And the potential for writing, you know, um, one backslash, or one forward slash, open paren, uh, atan, open paren, whatever your theta is, close paren, close paren, plus... Uh, whatever calculation, open paren, then whatever your calculation is, just seems a lot more tedious and annoying than punching uh, bits of the equation into your calculator. You usually have to have it written out, unless you can keep it in your head, uh, a complex equation in your head. Punching bits into it, or writing a program that does it for you, and then just punching the number, punching the second number, and then start the program. <clears throat> I don't know. It's still interesting, and uh, maybe you'll be interested in it too.